Hello, I am William Yates, and today we're going to be doing an experiment. Today's experiment is the precipitation of inorganic pigments. For today's experiment, we're going to be taking several safety precautions. We're going to be wearing gloves to protect our skin and goggles to protect our eyes. We are also going to be avoiding ingestion or inhalation of any of the compounds we're using. We've also secured our hair and we're doing this experiment under the supervision of a trained professional. So we are going to be dissolving uh, ferric chloride and potassium ferrocyanide in water in these small test tubes here. So I want you to cover each of these in about five milliliters of water. And then next we're going to put in the stoppers. And then invert them to mix. Make sure to press it down so that it's sealed tightly. So what do you notice about the ferric chloride solution? The ferric chloride solution has dissolved into a yellow-orange color, much like the color of the crystals. And what do you notice about the potassium ferrocyanide solution? The potassium ferrocyanide solution has created a limey yellow color as it dissolved. And the crystals were originally red. So what we're going to do is decant both of these into the larger test tube. What do you notice about it now? Brownie red color. So we folded up a piece of filter paper and placed it on a watch glass and now we're going to very slowly pour out the uh, product that we've made. So what do you notice about the filter paper? Uh, it has been stained a bluey green color. So the um, pigment that we've made is called Prussian blue and it's an insoluble blue compound that was used in the past to make blue paint and other blue stains and dyes. So I'm going to have you do the same thing, but with copper sulfate and sodium carbonate.
and that one is the sodium carbonate. So what should we do next? The next step is to pipette about 5 milliliters of water into each test tube. So what's the next step? We are going to put the rubber stoppers into the test tubes and invert them to dissolve. So what do you notice about the sodium carbonate solution? Uh, the sodium carbonate solution is mostly clear, maybe a bit cloudy with some bubbles. And what about the copper sulfate solution? The copper sulfate solution is uh, light blue with bubbles. So now you're pouring it out, being careful not to dump in that copper sulfate crystal. So what do you notice? Uh, it's an opaque blue solution. Oh, there's lots of stuff in there. So now you are decanting it. This one's probably less likely to go anywhere than the other one. There we go. So, what do you notice about what we've made here? It is very thick and very blue. And it uh, precipitates, so what state of matter is that? It is a solid. And this compound is actually called malachite green. Um, it's part of what makes malachite that blue-green color. Um, it's obviously a lot lighter here, but in malachite it's also mixed with other compounds to uh, produce that distinctive color. So while we were making the malachite green, uh, we left the Prussian blue... Um, we left the Prussian blue filter paper out, and what do you notice about it? It's dried to a much darker blue. Um, this is not only because we allowed it to react for a little bit longer, but it's also photoreactive, which means that it reacts with light to produce that dark blue color. Um, this color was actually used to create uh, blueprints for architects, but it was found to be more toxic than they liked, so they use other photoreactive chemicals now. So with that, we are going to conclude this experiment. Thanks for watching.